So I'm not exactly a Nintendo or even a gaming news YouTuber. I'm not even really too much of a specific YouTube channel. I cover tech videos, Nintendo news, Xbox news, PS4 news. Just around that whole idea of like tech stuff and gaming stuff, that's what it covers. So if you are interested in subscribing or keeping up to date with my videos, keep that in mind. But I wanted to focus in on something I've been seeing a lot on the Nintendo side of things, and that's when it comes to E3. Now, I know I'm not a Nintendo necessarily YouTuber, but I still feel like I need to talk about this because I think at this point I feel like it needs to be shared. So I'm sure that if you know what Nintendo is, then you probably know what E3 is. And Nintendo's E3 briefing and E3 in general is coming up relatively soon. However, there's been quite a lot of E3 leaks, especially on the Nintendo side of things. It's just been blown out of proportion. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing. A lot of people want to know ahead of what they're going to see. But I feel like I need to talk about why I think that we should maybe just tone it down a bit on these leaks. Keep in mind that these are my opinions, and if you feel one way, we don't have to attack each other over that. And also, if you made videos on that, I have nothing against you. It's just that personally, I don't really think that we need to keep sharing them because I feel like it might actually ruin E3 a bit. So like I said, why do I think that this ruins E3? Well, I think that the main problem with it is that E3 is like a holiday, pretty much. E3 is almost like your birthday or like Christmas. I think Christmas would be a better example because Christmas is something the majority of people celebrate instead of just your birthday. But instead of just your birthday. However, on Christmas, you always usually get presents and such. And one of the best parts about that is that you never actually know what you're getting. And because of that, you have this incredible amount of hype that builds up. And one of the biggest, best, the best parts about E3 is the hype. I'm sure you've probably heard of the memes where it's just like, Oh, I'm so hyped for E3, get on the hype train and all that. Yeah, that's why everyone keeps saying that, because E3 is the season of hype for gaming. However, imagine that instead of having that hype build up, someone keeps telling you what you're going to get in those presents. You don't actually get to see what they are for yourself, it's just not a surprise anymore. And that's basically what's going on with E3, and that's why I feel like these leaks, because there's so many of them, especially on the Nintendo side of things, I feel like it's ruining E3 a bit. I mean, it's the same way about movies, too. Like, let's say you're gonna go see a brand new movie, and you're really excited for it, but then someone spoils that someone dies at the end. Oh, look, Han Solo dies at the end. So, yeah, that's the main reason of why I feel like these leaks that we keep seeing are ruining E3. Now, this isn't the first time that we've seen leaks for E3. Pretty much since E3's dawn, there's been leaks for it. So, I know that this isn't new, but I just feel like this year, because there's so much things that could happen, especially on the Nintendo side of things, like, for example, on the Nintendo, uh, during the Nintendo's E3, people don't know if they're going to see Smash, because Smash was revealed and all that. People don't know if they're going to see Pokemon and all that. There's so much that we could possibly see, and this year has so much more potential than a lot of other years. I know that the leaks that are being revealed could be wrong, but still, like, imagine if on Christmas it's just like, oh, you're going to get maybe a skateboard or whatever for Christmas, a hoverboard. And then you're just, you're still not going to be that excited because you're just going to be like, okay, now I know. And then, of course, you may be like, okay, well, you're going to have another element of surprise when you actually see E3. But I don't feel like that's the point of the leaks. The point of the leaks are to tell you what's going on at E3 before, you know, E3 actually happens. So, personally, I'm just going to be steering clear of the E3 leaks. I just, I don't really want to have that revealed early. I know that some people specialize in that, and that's fine for them, but personally, it's just not really my thing, and I know a lot of people also feel this way. But anyways, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you didn't, then please leave your thoughts on this topic in the comments, and also, if you want to check out my social medias, I'll have them linked in the description, and see you.